everybody, Nate Hicks here with Painted Air Outdoors. We're going to be doing like a series, really deep diving into how to self film using your cell phone. That's really what we do. That's our bread and butter. Um, we're going to deep dive today into our number one selling product, which is the Mag Pro Plus. And that's a magnetic um, attachment that goes right behind your stabilizer. And it allows you to magnetically attach your cell phone to the front of your boat to film your hunt. And We've been fortunate enough to travel quite a bit and go to some different shows, talk with a lot of different people, answer a lot of different questions. And today I'm going to really deep dive into this product, answer a lot of different questions, a lot of misconceptions about the product. And just, I don't even know how long the video is going to go. I just got a list of things here and we're going to go right down the list and talk about um, some of these different items and topics that I really want to dive into. And hopefully you guys will be able to gain a little bit of information on if this is something for me, right? Um, we created the product as a recovery tool, right? Our, our pitch has always been to people, um, you know, you're taking the nicest camera that you own into the woods with you. So why not use it to get a little bit of intel before going into a blood trail? And this product just really resonates with a lot of people. Um, and that's why we're going to start with this product. And in future videos, I think we're going to dissect some of our other SKUs that we offer that are really tailored to mobile hunters to allow them to use the nicest camera that they already own, you know, to, to go out and film on a budget. And I think that's really where I want to start with this whole um, discussion on the Mag Pro. So first and foremost, this is a budget friendly option to start filming your hunts. This is not, I'm going to repeat, this is not going to replace you know, a $5,000 camera on a camera arm that's going to get you this mint footage, you know, when you're in the woods hunting, right? You're not going to get, you know, this, this extremely, extremely high quality video. This is a budget friendly option that's going to allow you to get information on your shots. Okay. When you release your, your arrow, when you're you know shooting, you're going to get vibration. It's just, it's just the way it is. Um, however, We've always, we've always said that if you have the wherewithal to follow, you know, after the shot and get just those key seconds of information, um, you know, on your shot, right? Did that deer run around this tree, around this tuft of grass, over this log? That is information. We all have those moments where you kind of black out and it was really exciting. You had a big buck encounter. You've been waiting all year for it. And you kind of like, you know, get your, get your emotions into play and you end up forgetting, you know, what happened. So you know, all this going back to the original point of this is a recovery tool. You know, the cameras, the camera quality um, on an iPhone is just getting better and better every year. Um, auto image stabilization and the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 15 is going to be releasing um, what we've heard in October of 2023. So the camera quality is just getting exponentially better. Um, and that kind of leads me into, to, you know, talking about cell phones um you know <laughs> as we said i can't i can't control what phone you have right um the the newer the nicer the camera the better footage you're going to get we've had a ton of submissions on you know iphone 13 iphone 14 some of the newer cameras with that auto image stabilization i mean you can literally press record on the camera go like this and then when you watch the video back it's just like it barely moves. And so the cameras, the newer cameras on the cell phones, they're just built better. It's plain and simple. So just understand that, right? Our product, what it does is it allows you to magnetically attach your phone to your bow and get that footage. So um, kind of moving on from that on the phone topic, <laughs> this is a very, very common misconception, okay? Um, this is a steel piece of metal that has a one-sided adhesive that goes on the back side of your phone case. Okay. Looks something like that when it's on there. This is not, I'm going to say it again. This is not a magnet. Okay. The magnet is inside of the housing on the mount itself. Okay. So this is a piece of metal. The magnets are inside of this housing and it attaches your phone to it. Um, we do sell a case that is on our website that we have tested rigorously and put it through its paces 
um, to just you know have a good option for users to put this plate onto. There's so many different phone cases out on the market and <laughs> everybody has their special case. And the best recommendation I can make is get a plastic case that is a hard plastic. I don't know if you can hear me hitting my nail on that or not through the microphone, but we, we don't recommend putting the plate on like a soft rubber like this. So an OtterBox is a very common phone case that we see. And it's basically the plastic as on the outside of the hard rubber. Um, so something you can do is take that, you know, plastic, um, I'm sorry, take that soft rubber off, put this plate on the exterior of that hard plastic, and then you can take that rubber off every time you want to use it. Our cases that we offer on our website, it's the reverse of that. So the hard plastics on the outside and then that soft rubbers on the inside. And it's just, it provides such, such better quality footage um, because your actual case is not moving when it's on the mount. So um, I'm going to go ahead real quick and just install this. We do have install videos um, on our website, but I'm going to do it right now. So if you guys run a quick disconnect, just simply take that barrel off. Okay. And set that aside. Um, this is an eight degree drop model. We offer that on our website. So I'm going to put that model on. Simply just stick that um, thread through the, the slot. And then you're going to thread that barrel back on if you have a quick disconnect. If you don't have a quick disconnect, it just goes right into the bow. So that's going to go on there. It's going to slide on. The key to this right here is our, our foam. So I'm not done with that, but I just want to point out in every kit, this is probably maybe the second most uh, misused piece of, that comes in every kit. Okay, this is a one-sided adhesive piece of foam. It's a closed cell foam. It doesn't absorb water. Um, we recommend using our foam. You can get a foam similar to it at a hardware store. It's just a strip. So we cut it, pre-sectioned it out into the length that we recommend, and we include it in every kit. You have to use this. This is, this is the, the magic to the entire system. So you want to make sure you're putting that on the bottom side of the bracket, just like that. So this is already installed. So take that adhesive, peel it off and stick it on the bottom towards the end of the mount where the phone weight is going to be sitting. You wouldn't want to put it over here because the phone weight is going to be sitting right there. Okay. Once that foam's on there, the key to the setup process is you want to compress. I'm pushing down, if you can't tell, I'm pushing down on that foam and then tightening on my stabilizer. And what that's going to do is take a lot of that vibration you're going to get out of your video when you're shooting your arrow, right? This is a bow mounted device. So you're going to get some, you know, recoil, but what that foam does is it quickly stabilizes it versus it just kind of like giving you this long drawn out vibration. That you'll that you'll see in your video. So that's the key to this. Okay, that's the key um, to that foam. And then your phone, obviously, once it's got that plate on the backside, it magnetizes to it. Okay. So we did. We touched on a bunch of things right there. We touched on phone cases. You know, the certain types of cases and to put it on and not to put it on. We talked about you know. Um, the, the, the foam first and foremost, that's probably the most important thing that we touched on the, the quality you can expect. We've had some really great quality videos sent in. We've had some not so great quality videos sent in and it just depends on your phone to be completely honest with you and, and using that foam and properly setting it up. So, um, another really, really common question that we get asked is, will our system work with wirelessly? charging devices and cases and mag mag safe all of these different companies out there that are creating um, wirelessly charging devices the answer is no so this plate when, when it is on the back side of your case it will not allow you to wirelessly charge and just sit down so that's why we always recommend get a uh, you know a cheaper case for the bow season and just make that your filming case so toss that in your bow case and when you go hunting just slide your phone in and use that um, year over year. It should last you a long time if you do it the right way. Um, so that's a really big, you know, you know, a lot of questions about wirelessly charging and all the different cases on the market. That's my best, best recommendation is just to get a designated case for the hunting season and use it, run it. Um, 
these on our website, they're actually now black, they're not gray. Uh, so it'll, it'll actually blend in quite nicely up in the tree or wherever you may be um, hunting. Um, so wirelessly charging. So there's also a lot of products on the market today with digiscoping, right? Um, where it's, it uses a magnet, you know, there's a, a round eye cup where it'll grab your phone. Um, there's a bunch of different companies that are kind of popping out, but will this work with their system and their system with ours? Absolutely. If you understand how the magnets are placed in their products, it's using the same exact platform. So it's a, it's a metal plate that goes on the back side of your phone and that allows it to magnetize to the magnet products on the market um, that allow you to digiscope. So ours works with theirs, theirs works with ours, and you can save the plate if you already got a plate on the back side of your phone. Save this for, you know, in the future when you switch your phone case and you want to have another one of these. Um, we do sell these individually on our website. So again, these are about, I think they're two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So we do have a larger surface area. Um, we obviously do recommend that you use ours when you buy our product, but again, it's a piece of steel. It goes on the back side of your phone case and it allows it to grab onto that. So covering a lot, you know, one of the, one of the other questions that we get quite often is what weight does it add to your, to your, uh, your setup? So the actual brackets by themselves are not that heavy. They're three and a half ounces at the max. So this right here is our eight degree mount. It's, three and a half ounces. So really not a lot of weight when I pick it up to shoot, I'm not really feeling any additional weight. The real additional weight is your cell phone. Okay. Um, and I tell this to a lot of people, um, at shows and things like that. The number one thing that is going to help you not to do one of these, right? Drop your bow after you shoot is practice, right? I, I practiced that when we originally came out with the product and we were really trying to get some good footage. It's just a matter of practicing in the yard before you go out hunting to, you know, don't drop your bow. Just remember to follow that animal and all that footage after the shot is, is what I'm looking at. You know, yes, I'm looking at arrow placement. Lighted knocks really help to see the, that arrow flight. But again, there's going to be some vibration. It'll, it'll dampen. And then you're able to kind of film everything after that shot. And man, just, just mentally practicing not to drop your bow. It's, it's a good habit to make anyway. So um, I can't recommend that enough, but something that I've personally done and I take this bow, this is my personal bow shooting to Matthews phase four. Um, it's a 33 axle to axle. Something I've done is I've ran a back bar, right? So what I've done is I'll take my phone, put it on the mount. I've taken a lot of the weight off of the front and I've added it to the back. So when my bow is completely weighted out, I'm not dipping. I don't know if you can see that, but my fingers are not on the bow. So I'm not canting it back to try and show you that it's level. It just sits level because that's the way that I've weighted my bow with the phone on there. So when I'm shooting, man, I'm really, my pin's not floating a lot. Pull back that and it's just release. And I can easily just, my eyes and my arm are one. So wherever that animal goes, I'm following just for a couple seconds after the shot. And it really helps in that recovery process to go and have some information about where that animal went. Um, it's fun too. I mean, there was a moment in our, in our progression as a company where we really found that we had something. And I remember uh, Devin, my partner with Painted Arrow, he, he sent some footage that he had just gotten. We were both hunting in different locations, different counties, and he sent me this footage and it's, it's so powerful to have information on an animal when you're hunting, right? I mean, I could give you a hundred examples of, you know, why would you want to have a clip of video footage that's maybe 12 seconds long about that animal coming in. You can go back and relive it over and over and over again, you know, learn from your mistakes that you made. Maybe, uh, maybe you grunted at him or murped him. Um, and maybe you, you can learn something from watching that video footage over and over and over again. So it's such a big tool um, for self-filming. The camera quality has gone so far in the phone. So, you know, something I'm preparing to do is every year I'm going to upgrade my phone if I can and if I can afford it. But upgrading my cell phone, I use my cell phone every day for everything for, I mean, 
the most. I use it for everything. So it makes a lot of sense to invest in upgrading your phone, maybe using a magnetic mount like this to get some, you know, some intel on a shot if you're really trying to get into cell filming because you're not just getting a nice camera, you're getting a nice cell phone every year when you upgrade as well. So it makes a lot of sense because um, a lot of guys, again, they're not making YouTube videos. They're not you know, making a production per se. They just want to have a little something to look at for themselves maybe, maybe to show their buddies. And it just, it's a cool thing. It's a really cool thing. So um, this is the MagPro Plus. So we offer a couple of different variants. So we have the, the stubby, the phase four, the eight degree, and the standard. So we have four different variants. We have something for everybody. Um, it's, a, it's a great product. So really appreciate you guys following along. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please throw them in the, in the, the comments below and I'm gonna do my best to respond to every question I can and, and hopefully give some detailed information. Um, if you guys wanna look at some footage on every single product page in our website, if you scroll down, there's some uh, a video about setup for each individual product, as well as like a highlight reel, so you can see some footage that we've captured personally on the Mag Pro. So um, again, really appreciate you guys looking on to this video. Um, we're going to be again, like I said, diving deep into some of the other products that we offer in the future to help you guys, you know, kind of be educated about our products, as well as like find out if this is something that you want to do in terms of self filming. That's that's the whole name of the game it seems like is how can I self film people want to like film everything they're doing you have a phone it's got a really nice camera on it and we're going to dive deep into you know all the different products that we have that are going to help you in the field so really appreciate it uh, feel free to leave a comment like I said and this is a video on the mag pro plus you can get them on painted arrow outdoors.com have a great day guys Perfect. Perfect.